All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And uh, today we're going over to, I don't know what this brewery is called. <laughs> Please bear with me, because uh, the rain's so small. The answer, so the answer out of America, uh, from Richmond, brewed and canned by the answer brew pub. And uh, this is a hazy IPA at 7% ABV, triple dry hopped with Mosaic, El Dorado and Galaxy. And uh, it's called Up To No Good. As bold as you're gonna get. What a statement. Cool artwork with sort of like a smashed glass. So, uh, is it promoting vandalism? I don't know. But, uh, or is it like a metaphor for smashing your taste buds? And uh, I've got the fan going over there and it's making a sound that's very reminiscent of a distant house alarm, which is quite annoying. But yeah, the answer. I picked up a couple of beers from these guys from Northern Monk in Manchester. They had uh, quite a selection of uh, VA based American breweries. And uh, yeah, so. Just about to pop onto a stream, hosted by a uh, suitably refreshed Craig from Kent Beer Reviews, who I was actually at Northern Monk Manchester with, and uh, we drank some good beers, including uh, a a wonderful barrel aged barley wine from Hopping Frog. And I tell you what, looking very nice indeed is this beer. Um, on my end, it's looking a bit like sort of like a cloudy lemon. Maybe a little bit darker. Um, but the light is caught absolutely beautifully. So you're getting a slight golden, ever so pale amber look to it. One finger's worth of a soapy white head. Looking very nice indeed. Don't know what accent that was supposed to be. So we'll give it a sniff. It's not like the fruitiest smelling IPA. The first aroma I'm getting is a, a sweet lemon. Almost like those lemon sherbet sort of sweets. Maybe a little bit of a, like a parsley or a basil. Like a fresh, I can't believe I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Like a fresh parsley or basil leaf. The morning after a little bit of rain. Takes me back to uh, when I was 10 years old and I was on a family camping trip. We never had family camping trips. When I was on a family camping trip in uh, Gloucestershire. And um, yeah, it's, it's not the most aromatic of um, IPAs. But when you get a good whiff, smelling very nice indeed. I'd say it's more like sweet, soft, citrusy. Anyway, let's get straight into the tasting. Cheers. And just like the um, the aroma, you're getting exactly that. It's not the most like flavoursome or in your face IPAs. They don't always have to be. I'm getting a a little bit more of a, a slight yeasty flavour than you would usually expect from an IPA. There's a bit of a breadiness to it. With almost like a slight layer of like a like an orangey marmalade. There's a slight sort of like mineralic, if if that's a word. Mineralic. Lemony. You mainly getting like a lemon flavour, like a sort of um a lemon juice character. But aside from that, it's not a bad beer by if it's really tasty, it's really nice and drinkable. But when you see like a triple hopped IPA, <clears throat> you sort of expect to maybe just a little bit more of a kick. 
I mean, I'm certainly not going to, you know, pour it away. Far from it. Um, does it have anything to suggest how old the can is? But then again, it doesn't taste stale. Um, masks the ABV nicely. But yeah, triple dry hopped. I'm just not, I'm just not getting it. It's got a nice body to it, upper end of medium. It's... I never want to sound like I'm being a dick, but it's fairly standard. It's a fairly standard well-brewed IPA. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that every now and then. This would be a perfect beer to have in between like some proper juicy bangers. Because let's face it, as much as we love them, they do get boring after a while. And this has a little bit of like a slight old school IPA feel to it for me. What do I mean by that? I wouldn't be able to put it into words, so disregard that. But um, yeah, I tell you, it's one of those beers, right? Because it says brew pub. I'd love to just have a few pints of this at a brew pub fresh. If they've got good food or food like food on the premises or if they've got good food vendors or like a local eatery, then you know it's a perfect you know little day out really isn't it? But there was a part of me expecting maybe a little bit more but I'm not too disappointed and I'd say it's more mild mannered than a up to no good. That's so clever, Peter. You are a true wordsmith. And uh, yeah, not bad. I, I would happily drink that again. I definitely would. But I was just expecting maybe a tiny bit more. Compared to the other beers that I bought um, from other brewers, like Aslin, who else did I buy from? Uh, Vitamin C. There was another brewery, I think. I can't remember. I don't think there was. I've got another beer from these guys, so... I'm not going to make my mind up straight away. I think that's terrible to do that after one beer from a brewery. Um, but <laughs> I've just uh, noticed something that's actually quite quite amusing. Uh, poo. <sighs> oh, my God. And uh, if you look at these letters... It can spell gunt, and I am a proper gunt sometimes. Poo. Grow up, Peter. Uh, but yeah, nice beer. Fairly standard, but well brewed. Does the job. Hides its ABV. I'm not going to complain. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the other beer will be like that I've got from these guys. So that was up to no good from the Answer Brew Pub. All the uh, links will be down below. If you've tried anything from these guys, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Um, and, uh, yeah. Lovely stuff. Cheers for watching. You all take care, stay safe, and I shall hopefully see you all later with slightly better hair. Cheers.